my name is Mariko Tatsumi. I am an intern for Staffing Diversity at Department of Peace Operations and Political Peace Building Affairs. Hey, I'm Sophie and I'm an intern with UN Global Compact. Because uh, working for the UN is my big dream, I applied uh, multiple times for a long time until I hear from them. Um, applying was not too difficult. Um, you have all of your um, applications if you're applying to multiple in one place on Inspira um, through the UN website. Um, and I actually applied in September and I heard back um, only probably a week or two after I applied. Um, I applied for two internships with the Global Compact and actually was reached out to by um, another initiative within the Global Compact, not the ones that I applied for, and they felt like I fit their um, profile a lot better, and so they reached out to me. Um, and the interview process uh, was only lasted about a week, and uh, I was hired the following. I remember that um, my interview was Skype interview, which was pretty friendly atmosphere, nothing intensive. Um, I remember the interview is pretty basic, uh, competency-based interview. So I remember um, I prepared uh, myself uh, to talk about my uh, work experience and background to um, show them how I work, how I, how I work uh, well in a team and also how I uh, manage time well. I have vision disability, which means I cannot see well. And my disability uh, definitely brings a lot of challenges uh, in my life. But fortunately, I have succeeded uh, a lot in my life uh, because of people around me who are always supportive, who are always understanding and encourage me to come this far. Um, and I believe that it's my time to give something back to demonstrate my gratitude, but also to support people who are in a difficult situations like me. So. Um, that is why I pray for the UN. I decided to intern at the UN and also specifically at the Global Compact because I studied management and business um, in my undergrad and my first master's. And then I switched and did international relations for my second master's. And so it was a perfect um, mix of the two. I've been interning for the UN for almost six months. Um, I never worked such a historical, educational, and culture, cultural um, organization like U the UN. Um, I still remember my first day at the UN. Um, one of my French colleagues, he uh, came out of the building, picked me up, and he just said good morning in uh, Japanese. Um, the whole security and tall building, the beautiful exhibitions are overwhelming. But once you became a part of the UN, you just get to know great people around here. Um, I met a lot of people who are super compassionate, with full of integrity and energy. And I really enjoy working with them, uh, people, people with different backgrounds and a variety of uh, work experience. Uh, interning at the UN, uh, specifically at the Global Compact, uh, was really great because I got to be part of the UN um, community uh, on a broader scale, but I also um, had a lot of responsibility within uh, my very small team. Um, and I specifically really enjoyed leading the Innovation Challenge, it was one of our initiatives where we partnered um, with two industry leaders and encouraged student teams from our partner schools. Um, to solve sustainability issues um, and solve these companies' business challenges around sustainability. Um, so during my internship, I have learned how to cooperate and collaborate uh, with this variety of people who has different background and different work experience. I would say that it gave me a more realistic um, perspective on how progress is made, but it also made me hopeful um, working in a community that's so invested in what they're doing and doing it for a good cause. My 
advice uh, to a future candidates would be don't wait out. Um, it's not impossible, so please try. I would definitely say to be patient with the process and that the longer you wait, it doesn't uh, necessarily diminish your value at all. Um, and second, I would say that where you end up first in your um, career isn't where you're always going to be. Um, so just take every step in stride.